About 18 months ago, we were approached by Manchester City Council and asked if we'd take on the BMAG building, which was an old youth centre that had closed just due to a whole variety of reasons. And the council felt that we had the capacity and the skills to take it on. So for the past 18 months, we've been having conversations around negotiating a lease and working out what we're going to do with the building, submitting a business plan and just proving our capability to be to make this into a youth centre. We're now literally a few weeks away from signing a lease. And we've got some basic plans which we're going to submit for building regs in terms of knocking a few walls down and changing the space, making it a bit more user friendly. And our hope is that this will become like a, a bit of a hub for local young people, somewhere where they can come and hang out with their friends and get involved in positive activities, and steer them away from negative behaviour and possible criminal behaviour, and also somewhere where they can learn new skills. A real driver for engagement, one of the things that we're passionate about is we'd love to see some of the young people that are accessing the service becoming the next generation of youth workers as well. So everything that we're doing here really is to try and engage local young people, give them something to do. And we've spoken to sort of local councillors and local police and there are sort of gaps in the area in terms of provision and there is a huge need for a youth centre. So I think people really noticed it when this place shut. So we're wanting to completely rebrand it, get it all really nicely decorated and make it a space where young people really want to come and hang out. The building is not a massive space, but it's a really good area for us to, be able to just start to develop some new ideas and thinking about how we work with young people. One of the things we're going to look at is a music zone, which will be an area where young people can learn a musical instrument, drum kits, guitars, basses, sort of a recording space. And there's another area that we're looking at as a bit of a community room where potentially people could rent a room if they wanted to have a meeting. I mean, a larger space would be looking at sort of pool tables, general open access type youth work, and where people can just come in and get involved in sort of playstations, table football, that kind of thing. Finally, the last hope is that we'll have a bit of a working kitchen so that we can serve food and that kind of stuff in the future. In terms of where we are now, we've got some support from an organisation called Carillion that are coming in and looking at helping us with things like the fire alarms and the electrics and stuff like that. We've got some work in terms of knocking down walls and that kind of stuff. I guess um, if you're interested, the sort of things that we're looking for are people to get involved in helping us tidy it up, getting it ready to be renovated. People who are perhaps willing to offer some time to come and help clean, help fill in skips, that kind of stuff. Finally, um, if people like the idea of what we're looking to do, get involved in being part of the team that are going to be delivering youth work out of this building as well.